This is the site that greets residents of Kharkiv as they emerge after another night of heavy Russian shelling. Rubble from bombed out buildings lines the streets and plumes of thick black smoke from the many fires across Ukraine's second city fills the sky. Russian attempts to take Kharkiv have faced stern opposition. But as Moscow ramps up its offensive, the city and its Ukrainian defenders are taking heavy losses. Freedom Square, the cultural heart of the city, now lies in ruins. The Opera House, Concert Hall and government offices that lined its edges were struck by missiles amid days of bombing. The civilian death toll is increasing as residents who are unable to escape the city get caught up in the violence. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who remains in the country despite the Russian advance, said the Kremlin was committing war crimes. Civilians left in Kharkiv have little choice but to find somewhere safe and hunker down. The Babenko family have spent days cowering in this small basement with a group of friends. There is a sense of disbelief that this could be happening even as the battle rages overhead. Но, к сожалению, это это так, это происходит с нами. Это происходит вокруг нас, это происходит в городе, в котором в котором я живу уже очень много лет, в котором родились и живут мои друзья, мои родственники. Не хочется верить, но это, к сожалению, так. Now there is a fresh terror for the defenders of Kharkiv. Russian paratroopers have landed in the city and are attempting to seize a holding point to prepare for a heavily armed attack. Although Kharkiv has repelled several mechanized attacks on its northern and eastern flanks, it may now only be a matter of time before the city falls into Russian hands.